Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to provide you guys with a project overview. If you recall from previous lessons, that here we have our difficulty bar. And this lesson is quite easy and straightforward. That's why it lies here on the easy side. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover the project overview. So in this project, we assume that you own an ice cream business. And as a business owner, you would like to predict, essentially, what the daily revenues would be in the future. And as an ice cream owner, have one key variable that impacts your revenue in the future, which is our temperature, our outside air temperature. If the temperature is hot outside, people tend to grab ice cream, of course. So the sales tend to increase or the revenue tend to increase as well. And that's why in this project, we are going, we are going to assume that you own an ice cream business and you would like to create a model that could predict the daily revenue in dollars based on the outside air temperature. So as a business owner, you said, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and collect a bunch of data. I said, today, the temperature, I measured the temperature, and it was 24.5 degrees C. So I went at the end of the day, and then I collected the overall revenue that I accumulated in that day, and that was around, let's say, $534, for example. And then uh, what I did as a business owner, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go tomorrow, for example, and then I'm going to collect an additional data point. I'm gonna say the temperature is 26 degrees C, and the corresponding revenue associated with it is $625. And then I kept repeating that over and over again, and then I came up with this table. So what we have here is I have a table, and that table contains two columns, right? The first one is the temperature, and the second one is the daily revenues in dollars. So this is simply our data set that we're going to use in this project. So the input to my model is going to be my outside air temperature. This is what we call it the independent variable. Basically, this is the variable that changes independently. Right? So the outside air temperature could change whatever, whatever it wants, basically. And based on that temperature, I can go ahead and gauge the output from my model. And that's going to be my output, um, my revenue, which is the overall daily, daily revenue generated in dollars. So let's go ahead and plot these data points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know what? I'm just going to plot on the x-axis. I'm going to put the temperature, and that's going to be in degrees C. And then on the y-axis, I'm going to put the revenues in dollars. And then I'm going to grab that table and essentially plot it here. And that's what I can see here on this graph. So essentially here I have a bunch of points. Each of these data points is essentially an x, y coordinate. So x, y, 24 degrees C versus $534. So I, I came here and I plot that point. And then the next day, 26, 625, I put it here, and so on. And what I wanted to build, essentially, in our project is I wanted to find the best fit line that can go through that data. And this is my best fit line that I'm trying to find. And once I have that, that means now I have what we call it the simple linear regression model. And don't worry about it, I'm gonna cover it in great details in the uh, next couple of lessons. But essentially, once I have that model, then I can rely on that model in the future to make revenue predictions. So for example, in a week from today, I can go ahead and come here and get a temperature measurement. I can say, well, maybe the temperature, maybe I'm in a hot August summer day, maybe the temperature is 40 degrees C. So I can go here, the temperature is 40 degrees C. I have that model right now, right? So I was able to obtain the slope of that line. And then I can go ahead and predict the revenue, which could be maybe, let's say, $900, for example, like on the high side. And that's pretty much it. This is simply the project overview, and we are going to learn in this project how to build, train, and test a simple linear regression model in a library known as Scikit-Learn library, and we're gonna make our life extremely, extremely easy. Okay, all right, so that's it. That's simply all I have for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lesson, we will cover the simple linear regression one-on-one. 
I hope you guys enjoy this session and see you in the next one.